Come on, church. Kung mahal mo ang Panginoon, hallelujah, can you lift up our voices? Hallelujah, say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Express your worship, church. Express your love for the Lord. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Express it by worshiping Him. Express it by lifting up your voices. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Sa mga ilang sandali, hallelujah. Hayaan mo ang spirito ng ating Panginoon na siyang kumilo sa iyong buhay ngayon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, pwede ba natin ipalakpak ang ating mga kamay, mga patid? Yung palakpak na para sa Panginoon, mga patid. When we clap our hands, it's not for the human being. It's not for our pastor. We clap our hands because of the goodness, because of the faithfulness of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles, Mabatid, Mark chapter 2. I think, Mabatid, no, last Sunday, wala ko dito, pero I think the morning, ito din isa sa mga text na ginamit ng ating pastor, Mabatid, hallelujah. Pinanood ko yung, yung preaching ni pastor nung, nung Sunday morning, but I want us, I want you to, I want, I'm going to bring you to Mark chapter 2, mga patid. Mark chapter 2, lahat na nakita magsabing praise the Lord. And again, and again, sabi natin, and again, he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house, talking about Jesus, going back, to Capernaum. And straightway, many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive him, to receive them. No, not so much as, as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was, and they had broken it up. And let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately, and Jesus perceived, in his spirit, that they so reason with themselves. He said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And lastly, last verse, And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, in so much that they were all amazed, and glorified God, saying, When we never saw it on this fashion. Kamayin mo ang katabi mo, sabihin mo, Conquering spiritual paralysis. Malaya kayo makakaupo, mga patid. Praise the Lord. Conquering spiritual paralysis. Mga patid, hallelujah. Dito, mga patid, sa verse 1, sabi dito ng ating Panginoon, ang nasalita ng ating pan and again, meaning, it was a, pumunta na siya na isang beses sa Capernaum at sa panahong ito ay bumalik ang ating Panginoon at after that's after few days mapatid at siya ay nagtuturo nangangaral sa isang bahay 
Of course, narinig nila yung mga miracles, yung pangangaral na ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa mga tao, mga patid. Hallelujah. And pagdating sa verse 3, And they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. Ibig sabihin niyan, mga patid, it's a past tense ng binuhat. Binuhat siya ng apat na kaibigan, mga patid. But going to, mga patid, I want to, to, to make this a point, mga patid. Hallelujah. Going to Mark, Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, mga patid, verse 5. Ito yung unang pagkakataon, mga patid, na pumunta ang ating Panginoon sa Capernaum. I was moved with these words by this one centurion. Ang centurion, mga batid, ay isang commander of commander siya ng mga Roman soldier. Kumbaga, pwede natin sabihin captain or general ng mga sundalo, mga batid. Reading from verse 5 of chapter 8, And Jesus was entered into Capernaum. Doon sa Matthew, Mark chapter 5, and again, you will see this, mga batid, when Jesus entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Verse 8, then the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come unto under my roof, but speak it. But speak. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, servant, do this, and he do it. Verse 10, when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not Israel. No, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east to the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way and ask thou Thou hast believed, be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. My point in this verse, Mabatida, there came a general to Jesus, Mabatida. Sabi no isang general, Panginoon Jesus Christo, I know that you can heal my servant. Yung servant ko sa bahay, may sakit siya ng palsy. Pwede mo ba siyang pagalingin? Sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus, Sige, punta tayo sa bahay mo para pagalingin natin siya. Sabi niya, Lord, I am not worthy. Hindi ako karapat dapat na invite kita sa bahay ko. But Panginoon, sabihin mo lang. Hallelujah. Ngayong oras na to, Panginoon, sabihin mo lang. At alam ko, gagaling yung aking servant. Church right now, you may have family that is not yet saved. You have a friend na may sakit nga na hindi mo madala sa church but let your faith be great right now Lord save my family Lord pagalingin mo Oh, I, I think we need our faith to build right now. Mabatid, hallelujah. Like this centurion, a commander, a strong man, a wise man. But he knew that only God can heal every sickness. Hallelujah. Alam na, mabatid, naintindihan na. Na pag ginamit mo yung pananampalataya. Wala man dito ngayon, yung pinapanalangin mo. But let your faith be great, right? Right now, kusino man, mahal mo sa buhay. Oh, can we raise our hands? Hallelujah. May mahal ka man sa buhay na may sakit ngayon na nasa bahay, na nasa hospital. Bigkasin mo ang pangalan niya and let the healing power, let the healing hand of Jesus Christ heal him right now. Oh, come on, church. Oh, come on. 
Halleluja! You see, mga patid, a centurion, hindi siya isa, but a Roman soldier, mga patid. But God said, I have not found this kind of faith, a great faith in Israel. Ngayong huling mga araw, mga patid, we need, hallelujah, to stay strong in our faith in the Lord, mga patid. I think it was three Sundays, four Sundays ago, Pastor Diaz about the preach about de- defeating uh, the last giant uh, and that giant uh, ay ang ating self-contentment mga patid, hallelujah na okay na sa atin uh, because we are blessed uh, we pinagpapala tayo ng ating Panginoon uh, malusog yung ating pangangatawan uh, na kung bibili natin uh, yung gusto natin uh, na minsan uh, hindi na natin hinahanap uh, yung presensya ng ating Panginoon mga patid, uh, pero sabi ng ating Panginoon uh, may matatagpuan pa kaya ako ng mga mananampalataya sa aking pagbabalik if you want to reach heaven sa pagbalik ng ating Panginoon sa pagtunog ng trompeta you have to remain in the faith you have to remain strong in your faith kahit may mga pagsubok may mga surilanin sa iyong buhay let your faith be steadfast in the Lord oh Let's give a mighty shout of praise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now going dito, mga batid. Hallelujah. This scripture or text, mga batid, ay inapanangaral lang maraming beses na natin narinig dito sa pulpitong ito, sa youth camp natin, first night, ha. Hallelujah sa ating youth camp. Ito yung ginamit na text uh, ni Reverend Harvey, mga batid. But there's, a, there's one thing, mga batid, that touched me when I was reading this verse again. Uh, Doon sinabi, mga batid, na uh, merong apat na magkakaibigan uh, na may dinala silang uh, isang kaibigan din nila na may sakit ng palsy, mga batid. Uh, hallelujah, tinignan ko sa dictionary. I tried to research so ano ba yung palsy, mga batid. Sabi dito, it's part of paralysis, mga batid. Uh, no offense sa ating mga... Masa inyo ngayon, mga batid, nak- naka- nakaranas dito, mga batid. No, if I did not mean to hurt or to, to offend you right now, mga batid. Sabi dito, paralysis is the loss of muscle function in part of your body. It happens when something goes wrong with the way messages pass between your brain and muscles. Paralysis can be complete or partial. Pwede daw itong buong katawan o kalahati lang or parts lang ng iyong katawan. Pwede ito sa kaliwa o pwede sa kanan or buong katawan. Or isang lugar lang or buong mga batid. Paralysis, hallelujah, is the law. Is paralysis of the lower half of your body including both legs is called parapli- mga batid, you know, paralysis the arms is called quadriplegia. Mga batid, this under mga batid, medis, medin plus, medline plus. Mga batid, from U.S. National Library of Medicine, itong, itong aking research, mga batid. So, sabi dito, mga batid, the paralysis or palsy is a loss of function, mga batid, ng pangangatawan. I believe, Pastor, itong, itong, itong taong sinabi sa Mark chapter 2, I think he suffered a buong katawan. Kasi binuhat siya. He was carried by four. He was carried by four persons. And you some sabi doon, paralysis, mga batid, we became helpless. We became helpless. Katulad na lang nung taong yun, mga batid, na, 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 na binuhat nung apat na kaibigan, he was helpless because of his paralysis, because of his sickness. Church, if you are going to suffer, suffer a spiritual paralysis, you will be helpless. Anong sabi doon is a loss of muscle function. Mga batid, hindi yun. It will happen. Paralysis can happen, Pastor. Pero may, may cause yun. Bakit nangyari? Di ba po? It may be heredi, mga ano, mga batid, no, hereditary. Pero part nun, tumataas. Sabi nga doon, tumataas yung dugo. 
yung sugar mga batid, no, I'm not very well versed dyan, but there's some mga, mga basic symptoms mga batid, na sabi na nagkakaroon ng high blood mga batid, nawawala yung lakas nung laman mga batid, hallelujah, that's why people became helpless, nawawala ng power yung parte ng katawan nila mga batid, because uh, they lost some vitamins in their body, they lost the nutrients that the body needs, Kaya nagkakaroon ng, ng paralysis, mga patid. Ganon din sa atin, church. If we try to turn away doon sa salita ng ating Panginoon na siyang pagkain ng ating mga kaluluwa, mga patid, we are turning ourselves na magkaroon tayo ng karamdaman. Mga patid, we are going, mga patid, to try to, to be a paralyzed person, mga patid. If we try to stay away in the presence of God, if we church, if we start, if, if, if we start Stop if we're trying to stop to pray. If we lose our time in praying, the Bible reading, prayer and fasting, mapatida. You know what, mapatida? Ang pinakamahirap ngayon, mapatida, is yung mawala ka o yung mawala yung sensitivity mo sa presensya ng ating Panginoon. That's why we can we go to church para tayong sabi doon, if we are spiritually dead, we are like zombies. Para tayong patay, buhay man tayo physically, but our spirit is dead because we turn away, mga batid. Now, I'm talking to the disciples. I'm not talking about the new converts. I'm not talking about the mga bisita. I'm talking to you saints. I'm talking to the church. We have to be careful in these last days. This world, mga batid, aaliwin tayo ng mundo, mga batid, para mawala ang ating focus sa ating Panginoon, para mawala yung pag-ibig natin sa ministry, sa salita ng ating Panginoon. That's why, minsan, pupunta tayo sa church. Maraming salamat kayo na sa, sa turo, sa rebik ng ating pastor. Pumapasok tayo sa church, minsan, with that we are so dry. Na kahit anong iyak natin, Lord, asan ka na ba? Because you try to turn away doon sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon. And then we start to be helpless in the presence of God because of what we do, mga batid, outside of this place, outside the will of God. That pag expect natin na pagpasok ko sa church, pag simula nung awit, makakaawit ako. Minsan nga, mga batid, hindi nga na tayo maawit. Hindi tayo pumapalakpak, mga batid. Hindi man tayo nakapagtaas ng ating mga kamay, mga batid. That's a sign of a para, para, paralysis, mga batid. Ano sabi doon? Loss of power. The body parts cannot move. That's why when you are not into worship, you are like a paralyzed person standing around. Nakatayo ka lang. Nakatingin ka lang. Nanonood ka ba? Hold on, hold on. Sandali lang. Sabi doon, mga batid, doon sa paralisadong tao, buong katawan. Pero I believe, Pastor, yung mata nagagalaw pa. Tama. Nagagalaw pa yung mata. Kahit na paralyzed, diba? kahit buong katawan, nagagalaw pa. Ganun tayo minsan sa church. Mata lang yung, na, mata lang yung gumagalaw. Kahit nagpupuri na yung mga tao, mata lang yung gumagalaw. We just, uh, we just try to observe. Uh, that's a sign uh, of a paralyzed person. Uh, if you cannot worship God, uh, if you cannot raise your hands, uh, what's the problem? Uh, God give you the glory. God give you the strength. Uh, God give you the health. Uh. Oh... That's why we need uh, the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, that's why we need uh, the power of the Spirit uh, to revive us, uh, to revive us again. Amen. You may be seated, church. Paralysis, para, paralysis, mamatid. We became helpless. Church, paralysis does not happen only to the physical, but also in spiritual. Mamatid, when we are paralyzed, we cannot move ourselves. Hindi ka makatayo, nakahiga ka lang o nakaupo ka lang, mamatid. Church, you may be paralyzed by your sickness, your trials, persecutions, problems, circumstances. 
Those are those are the the, the normal mabatid na hinaharap ng mga ng mga ng mga ng mga anak ng ating Panginoon na, na kaya minsan minsan may dinadalang problema na para ang hirap ah, ang hirap magpuri, ang hirap magsamba. Pastor but ah, I cannot understand ah, why Christians who are blessed ah, na hindi marunong magpuri. Hindi ko talaga maintindihan yan, mga batid. Pinagpapala ka ng Panginoon. Dapat ikaw yung nasa unahan. Dahil nung, nung umigi ka ng papapala sa ating Panginoon, ikaw yung nanguna. Pero nung pinagpala ka na, ang totoo ka na sa likod, what's the problem? You see, you became paralyzed by... Your blessing was the cause of your paralysis. Because you do not know how to give God the glory. Oh, if you are blessed right now, physically blessed, financially blessed, pwede mo bang purihin ang Panginoon in the amount of blessing that you receive. I know park people are blessed. I know park people are blessed. Pero hindi ganyan ang pagpupuri ng mga pinagpapala. I want to see a blessed worship right now. You may be paralyzed because of your past victory, your talents, your money, your focus, your faith. Minsan nagsasawa ka na. You lost your joy. That's why mahirap ka nang magsimba. Nahirap ka na pumalakpak sa ating Panginoon because of this blessing, because of what God has given to you na hindi natin iningatan. We became paralyzed and we worship what we have. Not worship God. We worship our money. We worship our talents. You worship your job. That's why I don't know bakit hindi, hindi ko talaga maintindihan bakit yung mga pinagpapala ang hirap pumalakpak. God have mercy. Lord, I need, Lord we need we need a healing touch. Kaya anong sabi ng ating Panginoon doon yung pinaba na yung paralisadong tao, hindi niya sinabi, okay, tumayo ka kagad. No. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, thy sins are forgiven. Ngayong wapong ito, mga patid, God, forgive us! I'm sorry to tell you, church, Majority of this na sinabi ko are not caused by the devil, Pastor. Yung blessing, yung victory mo, your talents, these are not caused, these are not from the devil, but you, but by you, you are paralyzed because of your blessing, your past victory, mga patid. It was not the devil that paralyzed you. It was you, it was you, it was me, it was us. But the devil... Pinapalaki ng kaaway. O, oh, pinagpapahala ka na. Huwag ka na pumunta sa harapan. Huwag ka na pumalakbak sa Panginoon. Pinagpapahala ka na. Nakuha mo na yung gusto mo. Pinaghirapan mo yan. Pinagtrabahuan mo yan. Hindi mo na kailangan magpasalamat sa ating Panginoon. You see, mga batid, pinapalaki na lang ng kaaway yung isu. But it started with you and with me. Because yung blessing mula sa Panginoon binigay sa atin. Hindi si Satanas ang nagbigay ng blessing sa atin. Tayo mismo hindi yung nag-ingat doon sa blessing na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. And we became, become helpless. We become powerless when we are paralyzed. By these things, my patid, and we start to lose our hope. Wait a minute, church. If you are paralyzed, if you can feel in the spiritual realm, my patid, if you are, if you are hard, if it's too hard for you to praise God, if you feel that you are paralyzed, na hindi mo kaya itas ang yung kamay. I have a good news ngayon, my patid. Even though the devil is making the issue big, bigger and bigger. Wait a minute, church, but I have a good news for you. Though the sorrow may pass, hallelujah. Though the sorrow may pass in the night, but joy comes in the morning. 
morning, ano mang pagsubok na meron ka, na parang gusto mo nang sumuko, na ayaw mo nang magpatuloy, though the sorrow may pass through the night, but joy comes in the morning. You may have a problem right now, but you can turn your morning, you can turn your morning, you can turn your problems into dancing. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good, ma'am. I'm trying to develop this, ma'am, but it's a very good message, ma'am, but it's na na-receive na, na, na ko, mga sa ating Panginoon. It's not my message, but it's from the Lord. You know why, mga batid? That's why the church encourages us to give a mighty shout of praise, a mighty shout of worship using our voices, mga batid. You know, mga batid, di ba si Lucifer, inagis ng Panginoon, papunta sa lupa dahil sa kanyang gustong agawin yung kaluhalatian ng Panginoon. Then, sabi doon sa lesson, mga batid, doon sa Tower of Babel, ha? so mga kasama doon sa klase namin, mga batid, sa Tower ng Babel, ang sabi doon, mga batid, I think it's in Isaiah chapter 13 or 54, na yung the spirit of rebellion, ang mastermind noon ay si Lucifer. They just only have one, one, one language that time. Isa lang yung lingwahe that time, mga batid. At sabi ba ang goal ng Tower of Babel, papataasin nila ng papataasin, mga patid, para ang sabi, para maabot yung langit ulit. Para muling agawin yung trono sa ating Panginoon. At nakita ng ating Panginoon yun, anong ginawa ng ating Panginoon? Ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon, ginulos sila, binigyan ng iba't ibang lingwahe. Iba't ibang lingwahe, mga patid. You know why? That's why how important our worship is. Our worship, our praises. Because mga pati, there are the, the, word, the words, languages are scattered, mga pati. But pagdating sa day of Pentecost, nagbuhos ang ating Panginoon ng banal na spirito niya, mga pati. At anong evidence na kumilos ang presensya ng ating Panginoon? It was the speaking of other tongues, mga pati. And that is to identify that you receive the power of the Holy Ghost, mga pati. That's why in the last days, mga pati, kailangan natin, sabi ng Panginoon, maraming tumatawag sa akin, pero mula lang sa kanilang mga labi, hindi mula sa kanilang mga puso, mga pati. That's why this church is encouraging us to give God the glory to worship Him from our hearts, from our minds, from our strengths because we want God to identify our worship. Are the religious group say praise the Lord and sila sabi na hallelujah din sila nagpupuri din sila mga patid, but it's only from the lips but God, what God is looking mga patid, ang hinahanap ng ating Panginoon ay yung pagpupuri ng mga anak na mula sa puso at sa isip mga patid. that's why we need to conquer being spiritually paralyzed mga patid, because when we are paralyzed we are helpless we are powerless but God sees our need in the last days. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Pwede pa tayong sisigaw sa ating Panginoon. Gusto ko mabatid yung pinakamalakas na sigaw na pwede mong ipigay sa ating Panginoon. Lord, at sa pagsigaw mo, Sabihin mo, Lord, hear my voice. Hear my voice, Lord. Hear my voice. Yes, come on. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Get out from being... Get out from being spiritually paralyzed. Don't allow the devil to stop your worship. Don't allow the devil to limit your voice. Raise the volume of your shout. Shout hallelujah. 
Yes. Feel the breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your healing right now. Let's have it sub verse 1. And again, he went back to Capernaum. Dahil doon sa Capernaum, ilang milagro. Kung babasahin nyo yung Matthew chapter 8, basahin nyo yung mga batid, ang daming milagrong ginawa ng ating Panginoon. That's why mga kamatid, let's make this place our Capernaum where Jesus entered again. When Jesus stepped in again, and those people with need will come to Jesus. Lord, heal me. Lord, revive me right now. Jesus came back to Capernaum today. Jesus is here right now. He was here this morning and he's here right now this afternoon. Because he wants to you to come to him. Whatever you need in any way you want to come, he is here to forgive you and to heal you right now. Please stand up, my buddy. I'm closing, Mama. I just feel the strong presence of the Lord in this place right now. I believe God is going to heal, paralyze, hallelujah, people in spirit, Mama. God is to break us free, Mama. In this afternoon, Mama. Let me just make my last point. Hallelujah. There was four, five friends. Isa yung may sakit, apat yung okay. Hindi madaling magbuhat ng tao. Kahit apat pa kayo, si Mike, I think anim ba tayo kasi anim pito nagbuhat noon. But you see the fate of this pulse. May taong may sakit. Siguro, para siguro sinabi niya, siguro nakapagsalita pa siguro sa hindi ko lang kung may speech loss ba siya or ano. Pero the reason bakit siya dinala doon, because he, there was a need. You see, my batid, if you have a need, it doesn't care. No, kung ano itsura mo. Dahil may pangangailangan ka. Itong tao may sakit. Hindi man niya magalaw yung kamay niya. Hindi niya magalaw yung paa niya. Pero may apat na tao. May apat siyang kaibigan na magdadala sa kanya. You see, my batid, that should be the attitude of the church na pag meron tayong kaibigan kapatid na may pagsubok, hindi mo dapat siya iiwanan doon. Oh, andyan na si Jesus, dyan ka na lang ha. Bye-bye. No. Uy, tara up tayo. Yung kaibigan natin, may sakit eh. May problema. Pwede ba natin pagtulong-tulungan? Dali natin kay Jesus. Ando doon siya. Hindi madali yun, mga patid. Hindi madali magbuhat. But that should be the attitude of the church. Bubuhatin natin yung mga kapatid natin yung hindi na kaya makalapit sa Panginoon. We are here to guide. That's the ministry of the church. That's the beauty of our small group. Minsan nahihiya tayo lumapit sa kasi ganito ako eh. Ganito yung nagawa ko sa Panginoon. Nahihiya ako lumapit sa ating Panginoon. Pero sa yung, yung, yung may sakit, mga batida, pwede ba dalhin niyo ako kahit si ginama? It doesn't, God doesn't care kung paano ka lalapit sa Kanya. But the mere fact na lumapit ka, it shows that you have faith in God. It shows that you trust God. Na kung ano mang pangangailangan mo ngayon, ang kasagutan mo ay ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, mga patida. It doesn't care. It doesn't mean na kailangan okay ka. No, when you come to Jesus, it's okay na kahit broken ka ngayon, pwede ka pa rin lumapit sa ating Panginoon. God is not looking kung paano ka lalapit sa Kanya, mga batida. Ano mang mga pagsubok na pinag, pinagdadaan, ano mang kasalanan na meron ka, ang kailangan ng Panginoon ay lalapit ka sa Kanya. 
Lord, there's so many more points, my patid, but I just feel, my patid, that we are ready to come to Jesus right now. My patid, if you come to the Lord, my patid, wag mo nang isipin ko anong itsura mo, kung sino ka ngayon. If you have a need right now, you can come to Jesus. Pwede kang lumapit sa altar, my patid. Pwede kang tumakbo sa altar. Pwede mong gawin na pagdating mo dito, Lord, I need you, God. In any way that you can come to Jesus, now is the time.